before I get into this video, be sure you guys are liking this video. Oof, a little cold out for Crocs. It's a good thing we got the socks, boys. My cotton candy bang right here, guys. Happy Friday, everybody. It is currently the weekend, and I am just committed to get this video up for you guys. I give a shout out to Myra Hated for recommending me to make this video. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about everything that is currently wrong with my Civic Si. All right, that was not supposed to happen, all right? Oof, cold starts in this thing are really, really shaky and loud. We're gonna strap the GoPro right on my bumper here so you guys can hear a little sound clip of this thing. And if you want more videos, if you want more videos on the God Snow exhaust, just drop your comments down below and I'll make a separate video for you guys because I've been getting a lot of questions on what exhaust this currently is. So the first thing we're gonna talk about that is currently wrong with my Civic Si is the notorious EPS issue that I've been facing for a while now. Let's see if it does it. Oh, it didn't do it right now. I bet you if I shut it off. Uh, EPS is staying off. The EPS light illuminates frequently guys but I've been able to manually shut it off by just flashing my high beams like so so with the EPS issue guys the steering just tightens up basically and it, it's kind of difficult it gives you really beefy forearms to uh, try to navigate the vehicle but um it's it's definitely manageable guys and like I said I can usually shut it off most of the time by just flicking my high beams yeah boy Woo! <laughs> Look at him, dude, ripping. Let's talk about the exterior appearance of my Civic Si here. The number one thing you can you can visualize when you when you look at this car is the notorious clear coat fade, guys. The issue started small. It's it almost was like kind of like something like this. And even right here, it was just small. But as you could see, as time went on, you know, the sun just gravitates towards this darker color and the issue has been more severe um in the past few months now so it's definitely it's like a play guys it's just spreading and stuff but this is the number one thing that's wrong with the exterior and then coming down here i'm actually planning on fixing this in my next video i did notice that there is rust forming right there you could see that little rust bubble and then if you come down here to the bottom almost near the iv tech uh, decal there's a huge rust spot forming right here um, I did notice this but it was a lot smaller last time and I got to prevent this stuff from spreading um, and then I would I would eventually like to you know paint this thing so I, I don't need this thing falling apart on me another thing about my exterior that I'm having issues with and this has been since I basically put these on you could see I have the headlight fade going on right now these are these are cheap replacement OEM ones so they are definitely fading on both sides this side in particular is worse but another thing about my headlights a lot of you guys say this in my videos is look at the the fitment issue see that play right there look at that I can literally tap this and all my headlights just up and down it's on both sides. You can see they don't even fit right. They don't even fit right. Well, 
the cause for that, a lot of a lot of you guys ask me, you know, why are your headlights pointing downwards? Like, what's up with your headlight alignment and what's up with your headlights and stuff? When I'm doing pulls, sometimes you could actually see my headlights like bounce upwards and then just like fluctuate, drop back down. Well, for those of you who didn't know, this car was actually a slight front end collision. So essentially it just kind of pushed everything inward and therefore my headlights, this is an issue I, I realized ironically after I bought the car, but um, both of my headlights do not fit properly. So that's an issue I have to battle as well. It's, it's kind of annoying, but you just, you learn to, you know, get acclimated to it over time. The next issue guys, you can see that, well, you can't really see, you could see now my cold air intake and this has been a problem for a few a few months now i noticed it but um since the intake since the intake is designed for a k20 z3 engine uh it, it doesn't fit right um the the k24 is taller a little bit so it, it kind of pushes the intake upwards and therefore my wheel has been rubbing and I have a wider fitment as well guys so that probably doesn't help but my wheel has been rubbing against my cold air for some time now the last issue with my 2007 Honda Civic Si is a small oil leak uh, since I did the swap it was fine for the first like 10 15k and then it started leaking it's not my VTEC solenoid I don't really know what it is it's kind of just like a very it doesn't even drip on the ground guys it's literally just stops on the subframe so I'll, I'll put a clip up is leaking oil. but that oil leak pretty much causes my oil pan in my rear oem mount to just be fully soaked all the time and you know i try to clean off that stuff with a rag and it's just it's the same thing every time so i'm gonna have to figure that out sooner than later but anyways that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this and I actually beat the sunset guys. So I'm happy I got this video off for you. I had a really busy week so far. I still got stuff I need to get done tonight. So I really hope you appreciate me, the car here for you. And be sure to give me a like, drop all your comments down below. I'm sure I'm missing stuff guys, I always do. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more content with Project Midnight, my 2007 Honda Civic Si K24 swap. Oh, one last thing guys. I can't forget the e-brake handle. Fix coming soon.